Files from Ampere NYC, and I got my box here for my at-home trial. I'm really excited. Um, this is my first time doing an at-home trial with bras. Um, so let's open the box and take a look and see what we got. NYC sort of describes themselves as a Warby Parker for bras, so they come, um, you order the size that they suggest to you based off of your bra, si bra size, and then they send you a few sizes above and a few sizes below that, so you can try them on and see which one fits, and then send them back. Um, send the ones you want, don't want back and the ones you want you can keep. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's a lot different. Um, you can spend a little more time with them than you can if you're just at the mall. Um, and the best part about this is I can put it underneath my favorite clothes and see how it looks that way, which to me is the most important part because you never know how bra fits until you like walk around in a little bit. Um, okay, so obviously they make the returns super easy. And my packing slips here. All right, these are really pretty. This is the rose one, up, I'm assuming, just because it's rose colored. But that's pretty cool packaging here. Uh, I think it's a four. All right. And then this is the Gramercy one. All right. The Gramercy one is black. Seventy-five X. This is the one that I ordered in terms of size. Ooh, it's really nice. It's really sturdy. Inside is super soft. Is this silk? Oh wow, the lining is 100% silk. That's really awesome. Ooh, I'm excited to try these on here. Um, the thing with Ampere NYC, uh, when you go to their website, is they don't use traditional sizes. Um, they have sort of like a conversion chart. So 32E was suggested that I try 75F in this rose bra, and then I think I think it was 70E in the Gramercy. I have to take a peek. I don't remember which one it suggested to me. So you have to, when you go to the website, you have to make sure you uh, take a look at their conversion chart. It's pretty obvious once you like take a look at it, but um, when I, you hear me talking about 75F, it's not um, what you're thinking of at 75F because obviously the band would be like three times the size that it is. All right, this is pretty sweet. Let's try them on. These are the sizes that they sent me. This is my Bulldog Violet. She is nice and lazy here. Um, the 75E is the one that they told me I should get based off the size I usually wear and their size conversion. Then there's the 75F, which actually looks like to me it might fit better. And then there's the 80D and the 70F. I can tell you right now the 80D isn't going to fit, but I'll try the 70F and we'll see. But it looks to me like I ordered the 75E. It looks to me just by eyeing it that the 75F is the one that's going to fit. So we'll take a look, we'll see how they fit, if they're comfortable, and go from there. This is the rose bra, and it's kind of interesting here. This is the biggest size that they sent me because the other ones don't fit. And this one's pushing the envelope here a little bit. Um, as we can see, like, the four things we look at for fit, strap. The strap is absolutely perfect. It's below my shoulder blades, nice round. Um, I think these straps might end up digging into me a little bit, but since this is more like a lingerie bra, I won't be wearing it for hours. It's not like an everyday, all-day bra. And so I'm not worried about it as much. Um, the where it's pushing the line is the boob muffin, where your boob is hanging over the top. Like that's, you know, you need to go up in your cup size a little bit if that's happening to you. Um, I might be able to get away with it. I'm going to have to see how this works underneath clothes when I'm walking. And then I'll be able to make my final determination with that. And note that that is one of the amazing things about these online companies is that you can put them on under your favorite clothes and the clothes you would wear your bra with, which you cannot do in department store or like Nordstrom Rack or anything like that. So that you can kind of like take it for a test drive around the block, if you will. And that is amazing. So um, the other good, there's no side boob. That's the fourth thing that we look for. So those are the four things. Digging in at your shoulders, make sure the strap is nice and straight in the back. 
making sure the cup fits correctly and the side boob. So this bra is super well constructed. I absolutely love the silk that's on the inside. I want to put this on underneath the t-shirt and take it for a test drive before I make my final determination. And um, if anything, I'm going to send it back and get one bigger size up from this because I really like this bra that much. So this is the Gramercy bra. It's a little different than the rose one here. Um, I also like the way it's constructed. I love this silk inside. So I also got the 75E in this one, but they sent me different sizes, which I actually think is interesting. I'm assuming it just means that the bra is cut differently. So they sent me a 70D, an 80C, and a 75D. Um, I'm gonna take a look again. The rose one was obvious to me which one was gonna fit, and this one is too the one that I ordered, or my size. So I'm gonna try that one on and see how this one feels. Okay, so this one's a 75E. Again, this is the biggest size that they sent me. And um, I can tell you right now that I could probably use the F if they have it in this size. I have to go back and look. Um, Cause I definitely have some side boob. Otherwise the strap fits fine in the back. I'm running a little bit funny, or a li little close with the muffin top here with the boobs again, but um, I think this one's a little better than the, than the rose one. And then the straps, again, this is more like a lacy bra, not like an everyday bra. So I could see myself having them dig in by the end of the night. But again, it's not, I'm not going to wear it all day, every day. So this one I'm also going to have to try my clothes on with to see how it fits and how it looks under it and walking. Um, I like both these bras enough that I would send it back for a different size. Um, and hopefully that one would fit. Um, but... So far, like, it would be really nice if, like, uh, maybe you had a little more detail about the fit on the website before I ordered because I was kind of following what they were telling me and they still are not exactly a perfect fit. Um, okay, so I'm going to try these on underneath my clothes and we'll see what they look like. Alright, let's take these bras off for probably two to be quite honest with you um, and I'm going to try those out because I really love the bra otherwise the cleavage is amazing um, the construction is great the silk interior is awesome they're really hot um, I just can't I want to be able to wear them under clothes like I need to find a bra that's functional and sexy so like I can't have that like basically muffin top of my boobs hanging out because it's so obvious when you're wearing clothes and it just looks awful so um, I'm going to send them back, get my new sizes, and then we'll um, 